Hi guys, I'm on Hyperland and I'm playing with the look of things. So what you do is you grab everything that's in the dot config hyper, put it inside an editor like this and start reading. So the waybar, the folder of waybar, this one, right, has a configuration, a modules and then the style. I've been playing with some settings, so config, I set them to go position to the top. So the bar is now at the top. And then I thought maybe, right, maybe I want to have a little bit transparency. So a little bit, um, it was, it used to be like this, zero, right? So it's completely transparent. So what, how does it look, right? If I take, um, let's take three and then save, and then you need to reload this. Now that's another way, it's an, a workflow thing that I know that maybe I should share as well here. I go to a folder where the configuration is. Then I say open terminal here and I type AG. It's gonna search inside the files. So not the file names, but inside the files. I want to know where Waybar, which is the name, is gonna be launched. And then I see there is a configuration for Waybar. And here it says ah, a script status bar here is the application launched in the script status bar so what i do is go to scripts and i go launch it manually with status bar and then of course i can control c this thing again it's gone launch it it's gone change something to i don't know seven was kind of nice Okay, and launch it again. And we have now a little bit transparency. You see the moon here behind, and if you wanna really see it with a three, you probably can see it even better, right? You see transparency is there. If you want it, if you don't want these blocks to be floating there without the bar, now is your chance, this is it. I've played also with the font settings in the previous video, which I have not uploaded. So have a look, why not change to 11. So this is a way to go for it. So delete the application, the waybar is launched with this script, control C and then launch it again. Now control Z, 14 was good for me. So the way background, waybar background five maybe, I don't know. And you just go for other changes like translation, transition duration, have no play with that opacity here as well so 0 0.7 here with 0 0.5 so maybe we take five here as well some you know the same thing all kind of elements that you can change and tweak and theme yeah i th i thought that was um where was that was it sway or was it hyperland <laughs> because they're of course developed in the same time Switch from A to B and A to B to A. But there was somewhere, and the question is the somewhere, was it here? So let's go for, yeah, Super F is full screen. I think it was this one where I said I don't want rounding, but maybe you do, right? Decoration for hyperlint rounding five. Safe super f and then you see these borders rounding maybe five is not enough oh let's let's exaggerate i always like to exaggerate this is 50 but i got my f gone in file but maybe you don't care about that that the f is gone maybe it, it's a little bit much so 30 and the f is back maybe something you like to explore Wow, we should definitely try 150, right? 150 is gonna look like this. <laughs> oh my God, let's go for it. Let's play. <laughs> All right, let's say, mm, let's say six, safe. So that's another video for you to play with the way bar and also play with these rounded corners. And of course, there's so much more 
to go and uh, change and explore and see if you like it uh, and voila all right see you later